I'm Tom Varner and welcome to Adventures in TV Land. For today's adventure, we've come to Grantwood Village, just on the outskirts of St. Louis, Missouri, to visit Grant's Farm. Now, Grant's Farm is some land that was once owned by President Ulysses S. Grant. It was given to him by his father-in-law, and he lived here for several years. The property was eventually bought by the Bush family and was part of the Anheuser-Busch Empire. And it is where the Clydesdale horses, many of them, are kept. Now, outside of a parking fee, Grant's Farm is a free attraction that is open to the public. Uh, to actually get to the kind of the center of the farm area, you have to ride a tram there. And there are various animals that you can pet and feed and uh, different things like that. It's sort of like almost a small zoo in many ways. And we're just here and we're going to check it out. Now we're in the one far end of the parking lot. This is where some of the Clydesdale horses, you can see them. Now you can pay and for an extra experience and actually take a more in-depth tour of the actual farm part where the Clydesdales are kept and have more interaction with them. We'll just take a look at the free stuff here and then we'll head over to the main part of the farm. You can see there the Clydesdale experience. It's a $25 tour per person. But they're all sold out, of course, for the day. They usually sell out a couple days in advance, honestly. Especially now during these times. This is a very important warning. So do not stick your fingers in the bars. As for many places, no food or drink past this point, so no outside food or drink allowed into the Grant's farm. And this little placard here talks about the U.S. Grant National Historic Site, as well as a little bit about Grant's farm. Why? Now, all of this land was a part of Grant's Whitehaven estate. And there's the first house that Grant built on the property called the hard scrabble. I'm here in front of Grant Station waiting to board the tram out to the central part of Grant's Farm. Our driver is Tony and I am Jeff. Welcome to Grant's Farm. We will be your host today. On our right, you'll see a cabin. The OSS Grant prepared the logs for building this cabin in 1855. The cabin has been moved several times. In fact, in 1904, it was displayed at the St. Louis World's Fair on our hill in Forest Park. In 1903, the Bush family purchased land now known as Grant's Farm. Four years later, they bought this cabin for $5,000 and brought it back to where you see it today. It's been in the Bush family for over the past 100 years. In the lake to our right. Keep your hands, do 
forms inside. To your left of the bison and the yaks. You'll be able to see the deer and the shade of the trees. Please keep six feet or one buffalo apart. Five times two. Five times two. Great job, Jeffo. Right, I think we have time for one more to be in this section. Uh, yeah, what's your name? 10 minus 5? That's a good one. Let's see if she can do it. What is 10 minus 5? 10 minus 5. Great job! Let's hear it for our amazing mathematician. She did a fantastic job. He's got let's the go, almonds. Buddy, let's go. Heading up the oh. I think you was the other. Great job, buddy. Got some llamas here. This guy's sitting in. He's getting some sun. He's sun tanning. It's a sun tanning llama. Getting some sun there, buddy? Yeah. Little woolly brown caterpillar. I don't I don't remember what the old wives tale is about brown caterpillars. Look at the cranes on top of the arch. I am now inside the beer garden area. This is the antique carriage collection. Wicker carriage. Hey, Henry. What's holding you up? Let's get on with the show. Oh, this is a harness room. Now, if you're an adult over 21 years of age, you get two free drinks at the Hospitality Pavilion here at Grant's Farm. This is my first one. It's an Amber Bob. Cheers. And 
since I'm eating and sitting under a beer garden, I went ahead and got the bratwurst meal, which includes the bratwurst, fries, and a drink. Not alcoholic. I got Dr. Pepper. It's not too bad. Once again, folks, wait for those brakes before exiting to the left-hand side and walking towards the front of the tram. Again, wait for that complete stop and then exit to the left-hand side towards those windows and walk to the front. Thank you. Thank you. Grant's farm was almost purchased by the St. Louis Zoo a few years ago, but uh, one of the members of the Bush family did not want to sell, and he was able to convince others not to sell to the St. Louis Zoo, and he stopped the sale of that and kept, the, kept Grant's farm as a, an attraction that is mostly free and open to the public. Uh, he felt that was a part of his, his legacy and something his ancestors had did for the community in St. Louis and he wanted to continue that and so Grant's Farm is actually it's a privately run and other than the parking and a few add-ons it's a free attraction here just outside of St. Louis, Missouri. So that was Grant's Farm. Well this has been another adventure in TV land Thank you for watching. If you've liked this video, hit that like button. If you disliked, hit the dislike button. Subscribe to my channel for further content and ring that bell for email notifications. And if there's some place that you would like to see me visit or you have a suggestion about a future video or anything else you'd like to say, just leave a comment in the comment section. What did you think of Grant's Farm? Is it a place you would visit? Is it a place you would bring your family? Let me know. And if you've enjoyed this adventure in TV land, or any of the adventures in TV land, would you please consider becoming a financial supporter of the channel by going to buy me a coffee and for as low as just one dollar, that's one dollar, you can help support the further and future adventures in TV land. Or you could even go one step further and considering for the low price of as low as just $3 a month, becoming a monthly supporter, a monthly member, and to support Adventures in TV land. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, that's a wrap. Goodbye, Grant's Farm. I will definitely consider coming back to see you again. Every time I see one of these water fountains, it makes me so sad. I wonder, will water fountains ever come back again?